Hi guys, Hyperlatter here, the Norwegian gamer. And this is some defensive rush on Nelson Bay, I believe. Yeah, let's call it Nelson Bay from uh, Bad Company 2, as if you haven't already guessed. In uh, this video, I wanted to give some of my thoughts on a subject that has been kind of tossed around in the game industry the last um, the f last few years actually um, and it's really been with the introduction of the current console generation where some people say that in order to have a popular game you need good graphics that kind of shows the power of the next generation consoles with um, you know um, really um, detailed um, surfaces and characters and s perhaps smooth animation and you know the whole deal and some people say that you don't need those awesome graphics what you need is solid gameplay and fun gameplay and I believe that the argument is it's approached in the wrong way because I don't think that you need necessarily stunning graphics like in Crisis 2 or Battlefield 3 to have a successful game but you can't survive on terrible graphics either that looks like they come from the PlayStation 2 era and while those crappy graphics may appeal to a niche audience I don't think that the general audience or the broader audience is gonna even consider getting the game because of those grab because of those bad graphics I what I do, however, is the thing, is that graphics do matter, no doubt about it, but the thing is, they don't have to be stunning or awesome graphics. What they need to be is actually interesting, or appealing at least. So, take a game as Borderlands. Now, Borderlands Whoa. was under development for a lot of years, and almost midway they decided to change up the graphics to go from a realistic kind of um, art style to a cartoonish cell shaded kind of art style and it kind of benefited them because the game didn't look too good but when they changed the art style they didn't it didn't require them to actually update the graphics uh, to a higher kind of, um, uh, how should I put it, level perhaps? All they needed to do was actually just make it characteristic and yep. kind of make people go, oh yeah, that's Borderlands, I know it because of the visual style. And Borderlands did, you know, very well actually. And it's, it's not only because of the graphics, I do realize, it's because of the the good humor and the awesome gameplay but the thing is that with that interesting kind of visuals it kind of markets the game just by looking that way because when some people see that they might say wow that game just looks interesting by the visuals by how it looks and that may turn them on to the game um, recently one of the producers or guys working on uh, the next um, Elder Scrolls game Skyrim said that graphics do matter and that they're working on making good graphics for Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim because people won't even consider the game if it has bad graphics and I think we can all agree on that graphics do matter, but it's not about having good graphics or bad graphics in the sense of detailed, um, uh, detailed texture textures or having smooth animations. What it comes down to is interesting visuals, and if they are 
appealing to look at and if you can manage to look at those uh, those visuals for hours on end because if the visuals aren't that appealing or oh, interesting it may get boring and that may ruin the gameplay so for example take black ops for example the map most of the maps <laughs> in that game is really boring to look at. I mean, they're all grayish brown, and the visuals, that's not interesting visuals. What keeps people playing that game is the gameplay. And now, Black Ops doesn't look that good. I mean, the people, it looks like wax figures. And I'm not saying that it has to look Battlefield 3 like to be a good game, but you know, it has gotten a lot of criticism because of that, and had they kind of made it more distinctive than just another kind of grayish-brown shooter, the visuals may have turned more people on. But, you know, in the end, Black Ops is a horrible example because that game is gonna sell no matter what. They could have made... They could have just put new textures and new characters and just printed out Modern Warfare 2 once more and the game would have sold. So, I mean, that's probably a very bad example, but the bottom line is visuals m need to be interesting or appealing, not necessarily awesome looking graphics, but interesting or characteristic. So, that's it for this time. I hope to see you next time. Stay Snackies.